everybody, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at NAM 2013 at the ESP booth talking to Poncho Tomaselli right. from War. You've got a new signature bass. Tell us about it. First of all, right there in the back so no one can see it but me. You know what I'm saying? When I play, I'm like, yeah. Well, it was a bass uh, designed just for the, the traditional working bass player like myself. You know, it's a bass that uh, you can drop on the floor, pee on it, and, <laughs> and you'll still work flawlessly, you know. Has uh, an easy access, yeah, it works. <laughs> Has easy access to the truss rod just in case you need to tweak it, you know, at the airport or wherever you need. Uh, excellent uh, EMGX pickup system with a BTC control, dynamic pod here, so there's no phase cancellation in the pickups when you have both pickups running. Usually, uh, a, a passive jazz bass, when you have both pickups, there's phase cancellation, so you have less level than when you have individual pickups at full blast, you know? So by having this dynamic pod right here, then, Always full volume, full volume uh, uh, level, you know, coming from here. The other knobs are volume and then this treble and bass? Master volume, you know, for the quick sweeps, uh, blend, and treble and bass, BTC control, you know, stack pots. Uh, also, if you open it here, you'll find a, a range of like little uh, uh, mid range tweaks that you can go, you know, set up. Like little dip switches yeah, or something? Yeah. Exactly, little bells, you know, for more treble, more bass, less bass, more, you know, uh, uh, mid range, etc. What's the body made of? Uh, swamp ash, uh, because of its uh, high uh, 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 harmonic response on, on low mid and uh, high mid register, which I feel is what the bass lacks a little. Bass has bass, <laughs> you know? Very cool. Can we feel, uh, can we? Well, a little bit more on this is important. It's a high density goto bridge, you know, uh, for, for the extra ball, the extra bass, you know? And, uh, and of course, a very steady maple neck. You know, I do shows all over, you know, the United States, sometimes in New York, and then go from a dry place to a humid place, and uh, rosewood and ebony move a lot. Maple seemed to me throughout the years to be the, you know, the neck that, that stayed consistently steady, you know. Like, I used to play rosewood a lot, um, but uh, I'm sold on the maple. Thanks. Very cool. Let's hear a few different tones. You're, you're going through a heart key head. Thank you, Larry. Larry, actually, this is the best amp, the, the first amp that I ever bought when I moved to college in 1994. Of course, not this one, because that, that was sold to pay rent eventually, <laughs> at some point or another, you know, but, but um, um, I, you know, this is my typical, like, coffee house rig right here. For the word stuff, I go from pickup, bass, no treble, so I can get, like, the, the, the bassy... that little dull thing you know that's for like the funky like between 1965 to 19 uh, to 1972 and then you know you start moving to more of a j bass for like uh the galaxy stuff uh. um, a little more treble sorry it's got more of that growl that 70s growl you know then you get your your salsa bass which uh, salsa basin uh Front pickup, no treble, full bass, using your thumb. And then it's like that dull drum sounding, your reggae sound. Fairly kind of a passive quality to the pickups too. That's the EMG Xs. You know, I have to choose between a pickup that can bring me from the war, dull soundness of it to uh, my other band, which is film, featuring Dave Lombardo from Slayer, you can, you can tell that's pretty hectic there. And uh, the sound was completely different, different tunings, different BPMs and all that, and I had to tune my bass lower to a C sharp, F sharp, B and E, and a passive bass would not be able to do that. You know, so with this bass, it was, it was easy. You know, I could go from those crazy, like, rock tones to like a nice James Jamerson, you know, like, super like. You know, like more like the old, old sounding shit, you know, as opposed to the, uh, I don't know, I'm pretty happy. It has a great slap tone, of course. Because of the active electronics, you know, you get a lot, of, these strings are dead. So I just have the BTC cranked so I can get more of the.
it's got a lot of push, you know. That's with uh, open BTC. This is just uh, flat. And that's a bad cable, I think. You know? It's got, you know, everything that, that I can possibly need to work in LA. Sounds yeah. great, man. Thank so you. So where, where can people go to find out more about it? Uh, well, ESP's website, guitarcenter.com, musician friend. ESPguitars.com? Nah, ESPguitars.com uh, only. And then... <laughs> Cool. Thanks, man. Call me. Uh, I'll give him. I'll give What's him, your number? Uh, uh, six six six. <laughs> six six six. Uh, six six six. Nice. One All right. six six six. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Pancho. Thank you, Premier Guitar. I'm yeah. Happy. I'm happy. I'm Sean happy. Hammond for Premier Guitar. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, and click here to subscribe to all our new Nam videos.